Um, so in this one, if they're looking for the angle between u and v, again, the same important thing that I would like to do is rewrite this in component form. So therefore, to rewrite this, right now they're in as a linear combination. There's a 1 in front of there. So to rewrite u as a component form, that would be 3 comma 1. v, do I have anything in front of my i? Do I have everything for i? So it's 0, right? Because really, it's 0i minus 4j. So it's 0 comma negative 4. Well, if I have x, that's the same thing as 1 times x, correct? So all I'm saying is, if you have just a j, just remember there's a 1 in front of there. So when you're writing it in component form, make sure you're putting a 1 there, OK? If you don't even have a variable, therefore you have to make sure that you just go ahead and represent that. Okay. Just make sure you go ahead and represent that by a, with a 0, OK? Um, so now, to if you guys look at the formula here, we have the cosine of theta equals the dot product of u and v and the magnitude. So therefore, the first thing we need to do is do the dot product of u dot v. So therefore, that's going to be 3 times 0 plus 1 times negative 4. That's 0 plus negative 4. That equals negative 4. Does everybody see that? OK. Now we need to figure out what the magnitude of u is. Well, that's going to be the square root of 3 squared plus 1 squared, which equals the square root of 10. Then we need to figure out the magnitude of v, which is the square root of 0 squared plus negative 4 squared, which equals the square root of 16, which equals 4. And then now we just write in the angle. So the formula is cosine of theta equals the dot product, which is negative 4, over the, multi the product of 4 times the square root of 10. Now, obviously, we could simplify this. So therefore, it's going to be theta equals cosine inverse of negative 1 over the square root of 10. Does everybody see how the 4 is divided to 1? And I'm left with this, right? Because you want to solve for theta, so you got to use cosine inverse. So now, I'm just going to take my calculator. And I'll do cosine inverse of negative 1 divided by the square root of 10. And I get 108.43. So depending on how I ask for it, We'll just use the hundredth until I tell you something different. OK? So finding the angle between the two vectors is basically kind of it.